Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to explore the Auto Trace function, showing you how to unleash the power of your sketch pictures and let SolidWorks do the heavy lifting for your sketches. We're starting out with a blank slate today, and the first thing I should mention is that Auto Trace is an add-in for SolidWorks, so we need to make sure to enable it here in our settings. With Auto Trace enabled, we'll start this demonstration with a sketch on the front plane, and we'll go ahead and add in a sketch picture as well. Once we add in this sketch picture, you'll find the property manager for sketch picture on the left. But if you look closely, you'll also see a right facing arrow in the top right of the property manager. And this is going to lead us to auto trace. From the auto trace property manager, we have various trace settings, preview settings, and adjustments that we can make. Trace settings are used to select the region that you would like to trace around. And for us, since we want to trace this entire picture, we can use a simple box select and just make sure we capture all the material that we want to trace. We have some additional tools here as well, allowing us to define the trace region by freehand, by a polygon, or even by color to have precision control over the region. On the adjustment side of things, we can adjust our image brightness or contrast, and we can adjust color tolerance or recognition tolerance in order to get the best possible trace profile. Once we're ready, we'll simply choose Begin Trace, and that's when the magic happens. We can say OK. We'll suppress our sketch picture in order to show the resulting sketch. And you can see that SolidWorks has done a pretty good job of capturing all of that geometry for us. We can do a quick edit on the sketch here and add in a spline in order to uh, repair the gap that SolidWorks has missed. And just like that, we have a couple nice closed contours uh, that we can produce some solid geometry with. Uh, and in just a couple minutes, we've accomplished what could have easily taken upwards of 10 through manual tracing. So let's select sketch two. We'll choose our features do an extruded boss, go ahead and set the thickness to about 50 millimeters and say OK. And just like that, we have a solid model that we've produced from a complex sketch that was generated from a sketch picture. Auto Trace works best for high resolution images with crisp edges, but feel free to adjust the property manager settings and explore the capabilities with your own sketch pictures. In today's video, we learn how to leverage sketch pictures using the Auto Trace function in order to quickly and simply create a complex sketch. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.